In the last Acceler Charger video, we tried to figure out how they worked, meaning how do they transfer their powers into actual use. The theory was that they were basically USBs channeling energy from their specific realms. Now this video is slightly different, as it will go into the potential theories of how each individual Acceler Charger works, and why it works, explained by actual science. Now first up we have the Swamp Realm Acceler Charger. This is the first Acceler Charger that was won by the humans, and we have no idea how it works. However, after some thinking, these are my thoughts. The Swamp Realm Acceler Charger works by creating a vine, with the Acceler Charger energy feeding into that vine, allowing it to grow rapidly. Now think of this exactly like a plant. Plants need energy to grow, and this is where the Acceler Charger energy comes into play. If we think about bamboo, it can grow up to 1 meter a day in the right conditions. And it's not that far out that a swamp vine has an accelerated growth rate from the Accelor Charger energy. With the science explained, how does the vine know where to go? More specifically, how does it always go towards the track? Well my theory is that the vine is attracted to something within the track. Much like how potato vines spurt towards light, the same can be said for the Swamp Realm Accelor Charger. Now onto the Water Realm Acceler Charger. It allows you to drive on water, presumably most liquid surfaces. Now my first thought as to how it drove on water was that it made your wheels turn really fast, much like how a lizard can run on water, but decreasing the amount of time on water or increasing your speed, preventing you from sinking. However, after reviewing the footage, there is no water splurging from the tyres at all, and if that's the case, the car would also need to go fast on the track, in which it doesn't. My theory is that the Water Realm Acceler Charger decreases the density of you and your car, allowing it to almost float on water, and thereby drive on it. The next Acceler Charger we have is the Junkyard Realm Acceler Charger. It apparently creates a frictionless bubble around the car. Now the added benefit of this is that it allows your car to drive faster, since if there's no friction around your car, air resistance has no effect. It will also allow your tyres to still be in the same condition, since there will be nothing to friction the tyres by scraping on the road, and although other objects can damage your car and hit you off the track, your paint won't be scratched because there is no friction. Now onto the Cosmic Realm Acceler Charger. So to explain the Cosmic Realm Acceler Charger, I have to explain Bernoulli's principle. Now Bernoulli's principle is this. So here we have the cross-sectional area of a plane wing. Now as the plane moves forward as well as the wing, it slashes through the still air. This means air travels over the wing and under the wing. Now since air is still, the particles have to travel a different distance in the same amount of time. Which means since air particles travel a longer distance here, they are faster here creating a lower pressure. Since air particles are slower down here, it creates a higher pressure. And since pressure always wants to equalize, that means air particles from down here want to go up here. This creates up force, which is how planes work and how they fly. Now you can begin to understand what the overall problem is when you have a, a car. Because when you have a car, it, it's usually built like this. Basically you have air going up and air going under and this creates up force. So how do you counteract that? Well, that's where you have the car's spoilers angled at certain angles to catch the air. So when air hits the spoilers at that certain angle, it creates downforce. See, as it's hitting that, this specific angle, it's actually hitting it down and that's creating downforce. And the faster you go, more downforce is created. And that's the principle of this Cosmic Realm Acceler Charger. It accelerates your car faster so you can have more downforce, if that makes sense. Now next, we have the Storm Realm Acceler Charger. So here I'm going to make two cars, one with the Storm Realm Acceler Charger, one without. This is the Storm Realm Acceler Charger Aura, and this is you. When a piece of lightning hits the car, it makes it malfunction due to the high current and voltage going through, which the car can't handle, and that makes it malfunction. When it hits you, it runs through you, contacts through you, and you die. Basically, the Storm Realm Acceler Charger acts as a lightning rod. So when it hits the your car, 
the Stormer Maxella Charger provides an alternative conductive pathway in which it doesn't hit or affect your car and you'll be safe. The reason why your car malfunctions is because the lightning channels and conducts through your car while it conducts through the Excel Charger power. Thank you. Looking at the Fog Realm Excel Charger, the actual problem is the fog itself, as you can't see through it due to light refracting in the mini droplets of water in the air. Obviously, as there's more water droplets in the air, the light gets refracted more and more until you see nothing. In order to eliminate the fog, there are two methods in which I researched. The first is that the Axilla Charger uses infrared radiation to see through the fog and then converts it back to seeable light through your windscreen. Basically, this works because infrared radiation has a longer wavelength, which allows it to penetrate through most things like a gas, and in this case, it's fog. The second method I research is through calculation. This means that the Fog Realm Accelerator Charger is basically like a computer as it removes the fog from your field of view by calculation. Now let me explain. With self-driving cars, distances away from the car are measured based on the speed of light. So during the day, self-driving cars have no problem, but during foggy days, it would be a problem. The way this is solved is by calculating the light reflection off the fog with a pattern called gamma distribution. This is then used to remove the fog and get a clear picture. From my understanding, the patterns produced by fog reflect light vary according to the fog's density. On average, light penetrates less deeply into a thick fog than it does into a light fog. However, no matter how thick the fog is, the arrival times of the reflected light adhere to a statistical pattern, and that is gamma distribution. Basically, the Excel Charger filters out the fog based on the gamma distribution. Now on to the next Excel Charger, the Cliff Side Realm Excel Charger. Now the Cliff Side Realm Excel Charger allows you to take turns without losing speed. Now my first thought is that the Excel Charger made your tires frictionless in which you can turn without losing speed because of friction, but that makes no sense, otherwise you, you would just fall off the track because of the speed. However, I think I solved the answer, and I think it's that it conserves the direction that you were going based on where you're steering to. Basically, it conserves your momentum into going where you want it to, instead of flying away everywhere else. If that makes sense. Anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts?